Well, hey, folks. Species 7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ricci Homestead Map for Farm Sim 19. And uh, before we get into the day's farming, I'm going to go look for a home. I uh, asked the map author, Steve, if the. Uh, I had to sleep in a field because I, I didn't see a farmhouse around. And he said, no, there's actually, I believe he said, eight different ones on the map. Well, I think I've discovered one kind of-ish close by. Um, but I'm not sure. So I thought we'd go have a look. And then uh, once we've looked at it, we can uh, see what it's going to cost us. Apparently what you do is figure out where it is you want to live, and then you put down a sleep trigger. Man, at 120k, this is a long ways off. Whoa! Okay. I think... This, uh, this next turn coming up here... Could be it. Alright, let's throw the drone up so we can get an idea of what we're looking at. Alright, it's looking kind of farm-ish, isn't it? I mean, you know, we got a shed. Hey look, we're in America. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Canadian and that's my best American accent. <laughs> I don't go there very often. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah. I guess so. Uh oh. We have our own little private lake. This ain't gonna be cheap. This ain't gonna be cheap at all. Hmm. So... Alright, well, let's have a look on uh, El Mapo. So, it'd be this bit here. Whoa. 644,696 dollars. We have 274k. Jeez, when we got like 300, 400 grand for those chips, I thought, woohoo, we'll have this whole map bought in a week. Mm hmm. I see. This is like having a, an FPS game where everything you shoot at is just an absolute bullet sponge. <laughs> my, my. Alright, well, this is likely where we're going to call home, but... So, this would be another here then, I would assume. Oh. Yeah, that one's uh, just over a mill. Okie dokie. That one's just over a mill. It looks like I... Look at that, eh? Managed to gravitate to the cheapest one on the first go. <laughs> Who else here is not shocked? Okay. Yeah, there. I, I can see that. That's exactly what those are. Um, I like this one. Because it's got a pig thing. 300,000. Hey. Hey. Can I visit there? No, but I can visit here, can't I? Oh, I have to turn this off. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So, it has a silo. Huh, cool. It's got a big open space there. Well, the only downfall I can see is we'd have to live with the pigs. Because <laughs> there's no house. <laughs> oh, maybe there is over here. Hi there, Mr. Barn. Can I live in your shed? 
No, this is obviously something else entirely. Hmm. Interesting. But, I mean, it's basically just a welcome mat. I could put it in the corner of the shed and, you know, live a little roughish. It's an awful long way, though, too, isn't it? From, you know, where we'd be normally. Although we do own that field there, oddly enough. So this would be another kind of choicest sort of thing. You know, like, make some money down here. And then maybe sell the fields. And move our entire enterprise to the other end of the map. Hmm. Make our money as peg farmers. Well, let's have a look here. Let's switch back to X. Because we own this chunk here, right? That's only 300k. Mm-hmm. We could sell that for 800. Me hee 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 wee. I have a plan. Yes, yes I do. All right. I have a plan. No, we won't be living here. Thank you. That much money just because you're inside a mosquito breeding facility. Good heavens. As if. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Dyson Sphere program just released a patch. I really like that game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I uh, started my own little save game uh, on a brand new world. And played for a while last night. And yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool. For something that's absolutely early access, they sure have thrown a lot of polish at it. Okay. Oh, it's been five minutes. Which way did I come? Okay, I don't remember coming over a bridge, so I'm going to assume it was this way. Alright, so we have a plan. We do, we do. Now that also... removes us quite a ways from the shop and all of that goodness which I believe is down toward the bottomish of the map here like much closer to where we're currently puddling about um, I need a bigger map man no no I'm doing alright I'm doing alright I'm just impatient it's been a while since I've been on a map that took some interesting looking things going on over there. Um, a map that took, you know, some time to actually get places. Hello! And uh, those sort of things. I try to be a good neighbor. You know. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not going to get used to me around here. They'll go, oh yeah, it's uh, that Canadian guy. Eh? <laughs> well, except they won't go A, I would. But yeah, you know how it is. Look, we turn here. Sorry, sorry. There we go. All right. And we're back. So, I'm thinking, okay, we've mowed that field, so we basically sucked it dry. Let me have a look at the map again. Because the only downside here Ah, uh, okay, that is a completely separate thing. I would still own those, even if I sold this field. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we're getting rid of the biogas, yes. There we go. Okay. Just for a start. There we go. We just bought our new home. Alright. 
Next on the agenda. Mm hmm. Oh, don't you love it when a potato comes together? A plan, a plan, when a, when a plan comes together. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. See, if this was uh, going to be my place, Is that trailer open? It is good. I would have uh, left all of these. But, guess what? Since we're selling the property and uh, moving up north, I'm taking them all. And think of how grateful the new farmer will be to find the property so nicely clear. You know, I mean, I'm even sticking around and cutting the stumps out for him. How we doing? Yahoo, 78,000 liters. Oop. There we go. Because we may even get a better asking price. Okay, we didn't get that stump. What's going on here? There we go. You give me a hard time for, man. Yeah, I get everything off of uh, what could be two, part of property number two. And like I said, I think we're going to clear out of this part of town. Other than, uh, we're going to keep the uh, grass facilities. We already own them. We have product in them. So, we're going to hang on to them. Woohoo, almost 200,000.
had the weirdest uh, power outage yesterday. Just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It was not windy, not stormy, rainy, reasonably nice. I mean, it was cold. Um, and yeah, not even a flicker, just boom, everything went off. Of course, I was uploading a video, I was at 87%. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily enough, though, uh, YouTube does save drafts as you go. So, uh, when you re-upload, once it recognizes the file, it goes pretty much right back to where the upload point was. But yeah. kind of annoying too I mean most of my clocks will reset themselves to the proper time but you know there's always those few like the one on the stove that sort of thing and of course I have to wait for my internet to reboot because all of the uh, I wonder what people do whose thermostats are controlled by it. I have light bulbs that are uh, smart home controlled, as they say. And uh, the default is, if there is a power outage, when the power comes back on, they all come on. Um, and then, like I said, I wait for my internet to reboot, and then the old house bot there finally comes back online, and I can tell her to turn off the ones I want off. So, I would wonder about, uh, you can get the uh, thermostats that are controlled the same way. I'm just wondering what they default to if the, uh, the power goes out. indeed is going to be so long and thanks for all the trees Four hundred and ten thousand. Wow. Hmm. My mirror is a bit blinky. Pretty sure I have it set so it'll display up to five or something, but. Notice that happens a lot.
this, there's uh, either a shortage or just a big hike for price in uh, computer parts right now, from what I understand. Seems a lot of the tech channels are complaining about such a thing. Way back at the latter part of the 90s, early 2000s, when there wasn't nearly so many um, chip makers, like, I mean the actual ones that made the silicon chips and didn't do all the rest of it, and uh, it didn't take too much to uh, just drastically drive a price up or down because of the actual supply of what was there you know one factory would have a flood or a fire or something and all of a sudden for six months you know video cards are through the roof because VRAM has suddenly quadrupled in price And then three months later, when they get it back up and running, all of a sudden there's a big glut of VRAM on the market. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It used to be quite different. the half million liters of chips here so Also doing a pretty good job of deforesting this area. <laughs> oh well, we'll never be back. Yep. Uh, darn, I think you're actually a bit closer. No, nope, you don't have to back up either way. Mm-hmm. They'll know we were here. They will, they will. Yeah, that Canadian fella, just like a beaver the way he went through them trees. <laughs> Now I am going to leave that row right by the uh, the facility there. We do still own that property. I don't want it to look like crap. <laughs> Alright. And that is all the evil trees in field 2. Excellent. Not bad. A little bit more grass to mow here. As we will be taking the mower over to do field 3, obviously, at some point. Which is where we're going to fill the rest of our trailer. You're kind of the odd man, aren't you? Aren't you? Whoops. There we go.
Ugh. Let's take a break. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start hauling our goods up to the new farm. Yes, indeed. Looking good, looking good. There we go. Woohoo! Looks good. I'll have to bring this back and grab the... Uh, Uh, fruit spreader. That was it. it. Wasn't gonna come into my head though. And that should give us enough to get our little farmage started up there. And of course, since we're gonna be pig farming, as we have pigs right there ready to go, we'll have to think about putting some piggish crops down. Man, this thing flies. 120k. Ooh, we're completely full of seed, completely full of fertilizer. Isn't that nice? Whoa! <laughs> Okie dokie then. Mad, mad lack of steering right about then, dude. Hello, look at this go. Here we are. That didn't take long. Seem to take longer in the pickup truck. Whoa, we are not turning. There's a whole lot of not turning going on. I think I need a front weight on this thing. I leaned full on the brakes and turned, and we just kept going in a straight line. And two things are wrong with that. The kept going and the straight line. So, yeah, here. Oh, yeah, slow down, sure. And it's all fun in the games. Oh, what are we doing, man? <laughs> Hi there. I'm just uh, turning around my pig rig. I forgot completely where we were going. We got to go all the way up to the top of the map, man. So, how whoa. Okay, this is just not, not the hit. Whoa. There's some weird stuff going on here. Okay. Let's clue the bigger picture. Yes. Hello. Nice old truck. Okay, I get it. I get it. Never mind. I thought we were slumming it. Alright. I hope there's nobody here because stopping and turning and stuff isn't, uh, is not this tractor's fort, let me tell you. There we go, not with a full, uh, a full willy of a cedar on the back. Let's see. Oh yeah, looks like another little spot there maybe, eh? Ah, uh, no. Too much construction going on in the background. That would just be annoying as heck. Ooh, that was a nice little bounce. <laughs> and I'm just gonna open the window here for a moment. Ooh, okay then. Whoa. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, we are out of control. Oh. Good thing I play Wreckfest, I can give a little giggle about this sort of... I gotta stop. I'm full on the brakes, rape. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm just gonna ring out me undies. No, it's right to the end. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is, um... This is scary. Doing that kind of speed with this weight on the back. Literally, I hit the brakes and I'm not sure if it even thought about slowing down to be honest with you I don't think we would have uh, coasted much further with no brakes than we got with full brakes uh oh 
stop sign. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna stop. Cool. Alright, we're right across the road. Car. Alright. Be it ever so humble. <laughs> yeah, you only thought about stopping again. Yeah, we definitely need to get a substantial bit of a weight for the front of this thing. just about jumped off the road. Did you see that? It was so happy to get that off its back. Well, who? But I think, guys, that uh, that's where we're going to call it. We're 30-something uh, minutes in. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, like I said, I think buy a front weight for this thing. If we... Uh, actually plan to use it to haul that other thing around anyway I think we're gonna need such a beast and uh, next time around we'll see about making a whole bunch more money so hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit that like button would be much appreciated if you haven't subscribed yet you can do that as well till next time though do take care of each other folks and ciao for now Oh yeah, it's not nearly as bad without that tra or trailer on there, wow. Oh, dude, look out. Oh yeah, your four-way flashers were gonna save you. Hehehe. <laughs>